Hello everybody, I'm Serta and welcome to Planet Crafter, the full release. After two long years of waiting, we finally have Planet Crafter 1.0 and we're going to play it because there has been a lot of stuff added since my last playthrough and we're going to have to check it out because we want to take this and turn it into this. So let's get stuck in. Ignore all my old saves. Uh, we are going to start a new game. I'm leaving it completely standard. I believe you can change it. YouTube series. There we go. Completely standard game mode. I'm not going into all the other game modes. I do have a top tips video out. If you want to have a look at some of the game modes and explore that a bit further. But you can make this game as hard or as difficult as you like. So we create, find our save and load. All right, in case you didn't know, we are a prisoner. We've been sent to this planet uh, to terraform it as our punishment. And if successful, we will be freed. So the job is to terraform this planet, make it livable and uh, get our butts out of here. But that's uh, only part of the story. The story is much bigger, much, much bigger. Keep an eye on the series. You'll uh, get a lot of insight into it. All right, so we start off with a chest. It has some water some space food, a lerma seed. All right, then we've got a list of first steps. Craft a backpack, use a crafting station. Backpack costs two iron. Found some iron over here. Handy. Now, the reason you want a backpack, a bigger backpack, is you can so you can carry more stuff. So if we build a backpack, and then we go into our inventory, uh, you can see we've got 12 slots. If we equip this, we now have 16 slots. Super. Next up, oxygen tank. Two cobalt, iron, magnesium. Always keep an eye on your oxygen. Your oxygen, your oxygen tank depletes pretty quickly. So if you're running around, sometimes you may forget. Chances are I'll do it in this series at some point. But you can always top your oxygen up by coming into uh, your pod or, or a living compartment. So, oxygen tank. Equip it. Now that takes... Oh, hang on. Let me unequip it. 100 oxygen. Equipped. 145. Cool. Next thing. Microchip construct. Okay. Two silicon, two magnesium. I have the... I have the stuff. So, construction microchip. Done. Perfect. Equip. That will allow us to build. Now they want us to build a living compartment. For well, now, I'm happy to build a living compartment down in this area. But uh, bear in mind, this standard starting location, you'll notice it's in quite a depression. Well, um, the reason you don't want to build here is uh, going to become fairly obvious. Uh, living compartment, we need iron, two irons and a titanium, but uh, there wouldn't be any way to get in if we just built that. So we need a door. So three irons, two titaniums and a silicon. All right, I do believe I have the goods. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to head over in that direction where that big moon is. And I'm going to put this down around here. And I'm going to put a door on. And just grab some oxygen as a top up. And we also find our first blue chest. So blue chests contain lots of interesting stuff. I'm going to grab a bit of it. Uh, we can come back for the rest. These uh, blueprint microchips are quite important. We will get to them shortly. Now they want us to build a tier one drill. Tier one drill requires titanium and iron. Iron and titanium. And there's our drill. And then they want us to build a, a wind turbine. And a wind turbine, one iron, I believe. Yep. This is just to kick off your terraformation. Next up, terraformation screen. So what I need to build in here first is a crafting station. Iron and silicon. And you'll notice that our terraformation index has started ticking. We're at 4TI now. 
So this crafting station allows us to build things the same as the crafting station on our pod, except this one is a tier two crafting station, which has extra things that will come up, like this exoskeleton, which is not available in the other one. Now that exoskeleton will give us additional slots on our gear. So that's quite a good one to get. But first, let's get that terraformation screen so we can see what's going on. Right, so this is the terraformation screen, iron, cobalt, and silicon. And there you go. And I'm out of power. So let me go and get some iron and build some more wind turbines. And there you go. We have two extra wind turbines. We have power back. And we can have a look at what's going on. So right now, we are only doing pressure. Drills increase pressure. And the tier 1 drills give you 0.2 pressure per second and uses 0.5 energy per second. The wind turbines give 1.2 energy per second. So you can, you can measure things out, but really just keep ahead of the game. The next thing the first steps want us to do is the blueprint screen, and that needs an iron and a silicon. We have what we need. Uh, these are smaller screens. They usually go on tables, but you can put them on floors. You can put them outside if you want. So, uh, yeah, if you want to monitor energy somewhere, you can have an extra power screen somewhere. All right, and this will show us our blueprints, our terraformation. And as we increase, the first one we'll probably unlock is the oxygen tier 2, which unlocks at 70 nanopascal. And uh, that will give us, obviously, a bigger oxygen tank. But each of the items will unlock various things, so you just need to balance it out. But we also did pick up that uh, blueprint microchip, which we can decode. And that gives us a T1 mining speed microchip, which we can equip like our uh, construction microchip. Next up, we need a tier one heater. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. Tier one heater needs iridium. Now we haven't seen that anywhere. All right, also don't forget to, uh, you know, before we go looking for iridium, just get some water. So pick up a couple of ice and go to the crafting station and we can make bottles of water. If you want to make multiple items without it leaving the screen, then you just hold control while you click it. Same goes for placing uh, multiple items like uh, these living compartments or windows or handrails or whatever it might be. Press control to, to keep placing. But now we're going to skip a little bit because it is night time and I don't really want to be running around in the dark. One of the items that we need to do is a veggie tube, tier one veggie tube. So if we go into the build menu and click on it, I've got the stuff for it. So it takes iron, ice, and magnesium. It doesn't really have a direction, so you can just put it down. Click on it now. That Lerma seed that we had in our initial pod, you can just pop that in there. As you can see, we've also reached 70. So that means we have tier two oxygen tank. So let me grab the stuff for that. Okay, I've got all the stuff, so we can cross that. And it is automatically added to our equipped equipment, which means that we've increased from 145 to 200 oxygen. Let's get to the heater now that it's daytime. Okay, so now that we've got a lot of oxygen, we can actually travel quite far. So I'm going to head over there, because I think what I'm looking for might be in that direction. But there are a couple of ways that you can go. Okay, as we approach this cliff, if you look up on the side, there's a big wreck up on the hill. We're traveling to this area here. And if we pop our head just over this berm, there we go. We have a golden chest. Now these have good stuff in them, like iridium, which is needed for uh, what we want to build. So I'm going to I'm gonna leave the rest of the stuff. I'll come back for it, maybe. I'll take the golden seed. Yeah, but I'll come come back for the rest of the stuff when I need it. But for now, I'm just going to grab that and we're going to head back. Yeah, that, that was further away than I, I normally get dropped. So this is going to be a little tight. Yeah, oxygen levels critical. When you get to that point, if you're too far away from anything, you're pretty much toast. But anyway, there we go. Move back to my pod. Back here at our little mini base. Right, I need iron and silicon still. So I'll grab that. All right, so let's build our first heater. They cannot be built outside. They have to be built inside. And I'll just pop that over there for now. Okay, that means because of the veggie tube, we
we are now getting oxygen and because of the heater we are obviously getting heat. The next thing that we need to do is build the progress screen which hasn't actually unlocked yet because it's over here which means we need to get heat up to 2 nano kelvin before that happens. We're quite far away from that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build this deconstruction microchip. Silicon and magnesium. Hey, it's the magnesium and I have the silicon on me. Build that. Equip it. I should uh, actually build this exo as well. So titanium, silicon and magnesium. Right. That's built. And we're just going to unequip the deconstruct, put that in, it gives us an extra four slots, which means that we can also do the torch. Two magnesiums and a silicon. Okay, torch built. All right, so that means we can go into dark places. Press F, torch is on. All right, cool. Now at this stage, the biggest reason that I wanted to build the uh, deconstruction microchip is because I want to head off to areas or to places where we're going to find more stuff. Now, obviously, our first real target is to reach blue sky at 175,000 TI. So that's quite far away. It can be done pretty quickly. And keep an eye on your, on your stats. Uh, I'll grab myself a sip of water. I'll eat when, uh, when my body starts moaning at me. Little travel pack. Uh, we need the same as what we had for our first pod. T uh, two titaniums, three irons, and a silicon. Oh, we have a tier two backpack. Now, before I go exploring anywhere, I definitely want to get that. All right, let's see what we need for it. Uh, just iron, silicon, and titanium, which I have on me, so bonus. That increased our backpack capacity with another row, so another four. We now have 20 slots. Very cool. All right, we will continue our mission. I'm not increasing the terraforming much at the moment. I probably should be. But I'm going to go and have a look at that wreck up on the hill. And it is quite a long walk. So we will definitely need a bit of assistance getting there. Now it looks like with a tier 2 oxygen tank, uh, you can actually make it here quite comfortably. But what happens when we get here? Well, that's where our little travel kit comes in. So I've got the 3 iron, the 2 titanium, and the silicon. And my oxygen is full. And we have a little outpost. That means that we can head into this wreck and go and check it out. And there's a lot of stuff in here that's going to be very useful. I'm obviously not in a position to collect it all. But there's certain things that I'm looking for, like a couple of fabrics. And we have the deconstruct chip, so we can take that apart. We have these little crates that give us the blueprint microchips. We can also break down this heater tier one which will allow us to build another heater tier one because we get all the resources back and while you're in the wrecks always just keep an eye on your on your stats because it's very easy to lose track okay well I'll could do some food a little bit more iridium super oh some more iridium fantastic and one of those. All right, I am. I haven't been watching. And now there's a possibility I won't make it back to the container. Uh, could be tight, but I think I'll make it. There we go. All right, my storage is almost full. Uh, I got what I wanted to get for the initial things. So I'm going to head back. Uh, just to know that we, we do have a little outpost over here. And I think getting back is going to be a little bit faster. Unless, of course, I fall off a cliff to my death. Because you can take fall damage in this game. I have everything I need for another heater because we broke one down. So I'm going to pop that in there. And we're out of power. So build another couple of wind turbines, I reckon. Oh, well, one did it, but we're going to use that power shortly. So, put another wind turbine up, and I am also going to add another drill to our collection. That should speed up heat and pressure, 
What I'm also going to do is I'm going to open this veggie tube and take out the Lerma seed. The Lerma doesn't have a bonus, but the oxygen multiplier bonus on a golden seed is 600%. So if we leave that in for a moment and go and have a look at oxygen, we're at 0 0.15 parts per quadrillion per second. If I switch these out, look at that. We're six times more now, 0 0.9. So yeah, definitely good to, to look for plants with bonuses. The golden ones, are obviously, they have the biggest bonus. And we unlocked uh, windows. Not something that I'm in a major rush to use, though, because I actually don't want to stay here for very much longer. This little container is getting full, and there's still a lot of stuff we've got to do. So what I might do is head up the hill to a safe place. Yeah, before I do that, I do need to clear out a little bit of inventory. First thing we'll do, I did pick up a microchip, so we'll decode that. And that's given us agility boots. Now, agility boots, that's where I need, put the, uh, that's what I needed the fabric for. So I do know that I saw some aluminium in here. Not enough though, I should have picked up more aluminium. Anyway, not a train smash. But I do need a bit of storage because uh, my inventory is pretty full. So I'll grab one of these. Storage box takes costs one iron, and I can just go and throw all the things in that I am not currently using. Oh, and just by the way, this is an eggplant seed. Uh, those are quite important for food. Uh, right now we're okay, we're going to find food all over the place. But eventually it could become an issue, you will need food. And speaking of food, I'm just going to go to the pod and go and grab some supplies. Okay, well with the basic stuff in my inventory, I'm heading back up right now i do have a plan so i'm going to start laying out that plan now i know that the water level comes up to around about here i think so yeah i'm just going to put that over there and then i've got enough stuff to build a living compartment over here put a door on it and we're going to build more living compartments we'll extend this this will be our second base but definitely not our final base and we've just unlocked solar panels and the cost on a solar panel two cobalts and iron and a silicon but it gives 6.5 energy as opposed to the 1.2 from the wind turbine so it's substantially more yeah i think i'll just pop one of them up here for now doesn't really matter which direction you face it in all right so what i'm going to do is uh, put my torch off i'm going to grab all the stuff from that little container and bring it up here. I might just leave that one there for now because it does act as a sort of halfway pit stop up to the wreck, which I, I do need to go and loot. But first, I'm gonna give myself a little bit more space in here. And there's our second unit and we can make this place a little bit bigger to accommodate everything that we're gonna need in it. We have our new interim base setup i have moved everything that was in the little base down in the hole up into this area and i'll break those down eventually uh what i'm going to carry on doing now though is i'm going to carry on with the terraforming progress oh i also moved this platform to a better spot now if you're standing on it and uh, you see the middle number in the bottom left uh that says 26 well that's slightly above the level of the the water that's going to be incoming so as you can see it's going to be quite a lot of water so this would be the lowest level if you uh, don't want to be underwater. But like I said, that's not our final base. Our final base is going to be somewhere out here. Okay, so I've, I've got some solar panels. Uh, there's one screen that I haven't put up, and that's the energy screen. So I'm going to do that quickly. So iron, silicon, and a bit of mag magnesium. And we'll get that little screen just put down over here for the moment. Okay, I am running a little low on water, so I should probably collect some ice and just make some water quickly, which I'll do. I have food down in the capsule over there that I haven't collected, so I'll go and grab that at some point. Not critically important right now. Right, uh, so... That'll give us three water. And then I can just go and drink one. I've got a chest over here that I can stash some stuff in if I want to. Okay, so the power screen. This is just going to show you what your production is, what power producers you have, uh, how much they're each producing, 
and then all of the users. So right now we are producing 12.5 kilowatts, we are consuming 4.85 kilowatts, and we have 7.65 available to use. That means that I could probably do some more stuff. So um, I did collect a few pieces of iridium. So I'm going to build that up. Silicon and iron. So I'll put another heater in here. That should speed up the heating progress. There we go. And then I need to pop in a couple more drills. For well, now, these are tier ones, so I'm just going to pop them down. As things improve, uh, we will slowly upgrade to the, the higher tier ones and replace the, the lower tier ones so that we're not using them. Because the higher tier ones are much more energy efficient. All right, let's see. What are we unlocking next? Why can't I click on this screen? Oh, there we go. Okay, so we've got that. We've built the T1 solar panels. Now, if you start growing very quickly, you're going to zip through these quite quickly uh, until it gets sort of later game and then it slows down. But you may find you have trouble keeping up. So uh, just take it at pace. So you don't need to rush. You don't need to build everything that comes out immediately as it comes out. I see I've unlocked Veggie Tube Tier 2. But uh, that is something that I want because it's going to help towards terraforming. We have uh, Backpack Tier 3, which will unlock fairly soon. Uh, 2.5 KTR, we're at 2.23. So that's cool. And then uh, bigger solar panels, which are much better. We also have drills tier 2 coming at 1.2 micropascals. So uh, yeah, we're about halfway there. All right, so we'll just carry on. Um, I think I'll get a couple of T2 veggie tubes and I need to go and get some more. I've got a tier 1. Um, let's, have a, let's just have a look at this as an experiment. Okay, so the tier 1 uses iron, ice and magnesium. This uses iron, ice, magnesium, but also silicone and a second ice. So if I was to do this, is just grab a silicon and an ice. Essentially, what that means is I can break this one down. So if I pop in here, grab the seed, switch to my deconstruct, go in here, pop the tier two in, and there we go. Now, what are the benefits of that? Obviously, tier two is better, but tier one gives oxygen of 0.15 and, and uses 3.5 per second energy. Whereas this is eight times more or around eight times more. And now we've just unlocked a couple of things that I would like to get. But yeah, um, this produces approximately eight times more oxygen and uses roughly three to four times more energy. So much more efficient. And this is pretty much the case across the board with all the, the machines. All right, I, I probably should eat something. Huh? There we go. It doesn't do much for food, but yeah, uh, food goes down slowly. So where are we? Uh, 1.3k, we're at 7.2, 7 0.9, 0 0.8. Yeah, we're looking okay. Don't want to rush it too much. Now, we have this, which requires aluminium. There was something else that we needed aluminium for, so we should probably go on a hunt for aluminium. Sounds like we're having our first storm. Yep. It's a meteor shower, and it's going to be all the... You don't really want to be hit by these because they do knock your health, uh, but there is a an achievement. Uh, you unlock an achievement by getting hit in the face. Alright, this is not a really hectic storm. Um, there, there are much more hectic storms. The super alloys are insane. Anyway, uh, this is just going to replenish the basic stuff, and there'll probably be a little bit of aluminium in these ones as well. So it's a little noisy. I'm just going to let it pass. And while that was happening, it's still happening, uh, we've unlocked the tier 2 heater. Now the tier 2 heater does require aluminium as well. So that that is obviously becoming very important right now. So let's, uh, let's pop out. I'm going to grab my uh, travel kit. Okay, so I've, I've got enough uh, with me now that I could build a little habitat. But for aluminium, there are two ways we can go. That is the actual aluminium area over there. So that's that's to the east of this open area next to, I don't know, the Greenlands or whatever we want to call it. But there's another option. Uh, especially easy for early game is in that cave. Let me top up my oxygen. I'm going to look for chests as well. So hopefully I can find some food. And I'll take an extra bottle of water with me.
Yeah, we're just going to head this way to where this dust is falling. So this cave is uh, actually the Iridium cave, but it does contain a lot of aluminium. So what I'll do is I'll put a habitat up. This I've got a place to catch some breath. And then I'm going to start uh, venturing around and see if we can find anything nice. All right, well, we found some Iridium. I don't want to collect too much of that right now because I I do need aluminium a bit more. This is aluminium. And we'll grab what we can. I probably need at least six, so maybe I'll just pick up eight pieces if I can find eight pieces. Okay, I found a chest and it has food in it, which I really need. And it has aluminium. That's fantastic. That gives me all the aluminium that I actually need at this point. So I will pick up a, a little bit more iridium. This is kind of on the upper level. So our habitat is down over there. Hydration, oxygen, not looking strong. So yeah, let me see if I can survive the falls. Yeah, making it back with a moment to spare. All right, so uh, water, I definitely need. I'm gonna head out again. But I'm gonna stay fairly close this time and just pick up some iridium. There is this flat rock if you come up to the, the upper level. Uh, there's this flat rock over here if you have a look underneath it. Here's a golden chest. Okay, I'll grab some more aluminium. More iridium. And I've still got a little bit of space. So, yeah, golden seed I want. That I want. Ooh, uh, maybe want the, I don't know, yeah, that's fine. I can always come back for the rest. You have to jump your way out of there and then uh, rush back before your oxygen runs out. Right, so I've made it back, got my oxygen. Now at a later stage, uh, this cave you will actually have uh, miners in here, so it might be good to have a little mining outpost. So this will probably end up staying. There are a few of them that will eventually get broken down because you won't really need them. But yeah, right now I'm going to head back out of this cave and we're going to go and make some stuff. All right, let's, uh, let's get our movement up a little bit. So I'll put a couple of those in here, grab the fabric because we need that for the agility boots. So we'll get those. Then we need a titanium and silicon for the backpack. I don't have those, so I'll go and get them. We'll just equip those boots and that should give us backpack tier three. Perfect. So now I have a whole lot more space. And we've unlocked uh, <laughs> the oxygen tank tier three. Now at this stage, things are moving pretty fast. So it's going to be like a rush. Although we do need the tier 2 to get the tier 3, uh, it is one of the requirements. So the tier 3 needs the tier 2 oxygen tank. But we actually have enough to build it. And that'll give us an increased oxygen supply. And I think it might be a short while before the, the tier 4 is available. Anyway, as we're doing all of this, uh, we are increasing our terraformation. So what I would like to do, let's have a look at when the tier 2 drills are coming out. Uh, 1.2 oh we are almost there and we haven't built the tier 2 heaters yet so maybe that's what i'll do so just having a look uh the tier 2 so we need an extra aluminium and titanium if we break down one of these so let's go and break the two aluminium to two titaniums then i'm going to break down two of these and i should then have enough to build one of these now, the difference between these two is pretty good. Tier 1, 0 0.3. Tier 2, 4.5. So, substantially more. And there's our Tier 2 drill unlocked. Uh, okay, so let's pop out of here. Uh, there's the Tier 2 drill. That just needs titanium. Let's see what the difference is. One titanium. So, if I break down the Tier 1s, I add one titanium, I've got the Tier 2s. The difference there is from 0.2 to 1.5 but it also introduces heat which uh, tier 1 didn't do not much heat but it is some so let me grab a bit of titanium i'll just pop over here break these two down and then put up a couple of tier twos and that puts us out of power because they obviously use more power so i just need some cobalt 
Alright, so I have some cobalt. I'm gonna just head out here, build a couple more solar panels. And that's one. And our power is back. Yeah, I don't have what I need for the second one, which is just another iron and silicon. Now I'm building this uh, this extra solar panel, and that solar panel is going to give us 6.5 power. Now I didn't need to put it in, but I did put it in for the because I want to get rid of these ones that do 1.2. So I could basically get rid of five of these, um, and it would give me five iron back. Uh, and then this one would be sufficient to cover that. So I'm going to head down, I'm going to break that down, I'm going to break down those two extra drills that I've got down there and move them up here as well. And we've got a progress screen. Aha! That is one of the first steps that you can see up in the top left. And that needs iron, cobalt, and a couple of silicons. Okay, I have what I need. And we can just grab this and pop it up. Oh, I'm going to need to rotate it. There we go. Okay, so it tells us uh, from Baron, we are 6.55% towards blue sky. And that is the next target. So this is a pretty solid start. Uh, I'm going to need to drink some water. I'm going to need to go and fetch some food. We still need to secure our food and water supply. That will come. Uh, once we're at 875 KTI, we will get the atmospheric water collector. At that point, the water supply is pretty much secure, but there's also not much ice around anymore. So yeah you'll need it. And as you can see, our terraformation index is uh, ramping up pretty quickly. It does tend to, to grow exponentially, so it may start off slowly, but it will grow exponentially. And in the next episode, we're definitely going to hit blue sky and do a whole bunch of other stuff. I think I'll just do some tidying up between episodes and uh, you know, get rid of all the old stuff and see if there's anything else that's outstanding that I need to build. I don't know if I've even equipped everything that I have. But I do need the tier 3 oxygen tank, which I will get. And I already moved on to the tier 2 drills and heaters. Tier 2 veggie tube, I do want another one because I do have... I do have another golden seed, which is going to be useful. And that'll push all of this up very high. Essentially, what I want to try and do is have 8 of each of the producers uh, for a start. Uh, there's, there's a reason for that, which will become apparent much later in the game. I'm going to drink a bit of water. And that will end this one. If you like this video, give us a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications. I have done many videos on this game. This is the first playthrough on version one of the game, the full release. And I do intend to follow it right to its conclusion. Leave me your comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, I, I know that everyone plays this differently and I'm probably going to get people telling me that I've forgotten things. It's likely. Um, I've played this so much it's uh, it's become almost second nature and then I do end up forgetting some important things. But I did make it through one episode without dying, so I suppose that's good. Anyway, I do appreciate your time and thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, cheers!